In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make Cyberlink PowerDirector work with an NVIDIA graphics card in your laptop or desktop PC. So for some reason, you cannot, through the NVIDIA control panel, um, make Cyberlink PowerDirector work with the NVIDIA graphics card. So if you open your, your um, control panel by right-clicking on your screen, you should get this little screen. And you can see here I've chosen Cyberlink PowerDirector, but number two option, it says select the preferred graphics processor for this program. But if you click on it, nothing happens. It just stays on the integrated graphics, which is the Intel CAD, which is completely rubbish. There is a way to get around this. So what we need to do is to first find out where Cyberlink PowerDirector is installed on your particular PC. So if you find Cyberlink on your desktop, and if you just right click on it, and then select properties from the list, it should then give you an idea where it's installed. Most people will know where it's installed. It's normally in the programs files, but here, here it tells you. So it says C drive, program files, Cyberlink Power Director, and the extension we're looking for here is pdr.exe on my PC. It may be slightly different on your PC, depending on which version you're using. So once you get an idea where it's located, then we want to click on the Windows icon in the bottom left-hand corner, then click on Settings, and then from the list, click on System. And once you're on the first page, just scroll down right to the bottom. On the bottom, you can see here, graphic settings, click on that. And then from here, we want to select classic app, which is default, and then we want to browse the programs. So click browse. So on the um, left-hand side here, we can see where we want to choose. So again, we want to choose the C drive or wherever your program is installed. So select it. Then you want to select program files. Then we want to select Cyberlink. Then PowerDirector. Again, yours will maybe PowerDirector version 18 or version 5, whatever version you're using. And then the particular file I was looking for was the PDR one, which is the EXE on the end. So again, yours may be slightly different. It may be called you know, PowerDirector 15 or whatever. In my case, it's called this one. So you can now see that's been added to that option. So from here, we need to click on Options. And then what we want to do here is select High Performance. You can see here at the top here, it says Power Saving GPU is the Intel um, Graphics um, 630 graphics card. And the High Performance is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. So I'm going to choose High Performance. Click Save. So that should now work with my NVIDIA graphics card. So just give you an example. So again, if you don't know where to locate your um, program, just again, right click on the on the program and you can see the target here and we'll tell you where it's located. So let's give an example if it's see if it works. So I'm going to open up Task Manager, click on Performance. So you can see here that the NVIDIA graphics card is not doing anything at the moment, just the Intel graphics. So if I open up PowerDirector, so if I click, so sorry, I have to close it first close it, then reopen it for it to work properly. So I've now closed and reopened PowerDirector, so I drag a timeline to it and click play. And if I go to Task Manager, you can now see that the NVIDIA graphics card is now processing that video. It also still uses the Intel to process some certain tasks, but it's now also using the NVIDIA graphics card. So basically, that's how you can do it. Thanks for watching.